So if I wanted to get a holiday let mortgage, because we live in an astoundingly beautiful part of the world, so there's quite high demand yeah. for, for holiday lets, is it just around the sort of lakes that I can get a holiday let mortgage? No, so as much as we are a small building society based in the sort of Lake District area, we do lend all over the UK. So as, that's England, Wales and mainland Scotland. Um, so if you are looking at a holiday let property sort of anywhere within the UK, uh, then it's something we could potentially help with. Okay, well that's good to know. And then d you've mentioned before that it was based on, um, or the assess some of the assessments based on the income that the holiday let is going to yeah. generate. Do I have to be working, or can I? Do I have to be earning, or can I be on sort of almost zero income to get one of these? No, we do. We would look for clients to have a, an, an earned income, uh, right. which is currently thirty thousand pounds. Okay, so I suppose that's if the property's not let then at least yeah. I've got the means by which to okay that's no, correct that makes so sense. as a responsible lender we have to ensure that there is the means there for the client to be able to pay the mortgage even if the property was unoccupied so we did talk earlier on about how demand is huge at the moment yes. so you probably probably fingers crossed wouldn't find that the property was empty for any long period of time but we, we still need to ensure that if it was and there wasn't any rental income coming in that the, the client could actually afford to pay the mortgage themselves right. so okay. there's that 30,000 currently um, and that could be either a sole applicant um, um, or if it was a joint applicant, it could be journeying 15 or 20 oh, or 10. Good. That's good to know, that's good to know.